Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to make a Shoshugi Bun Live Edge coffee table. I had this slab for about six months in my workshop, so I thought it'd be a great time to use it. It cost me about 50 bucks to get this slab. Most slabs usually cost about 120 for this size, but I got this pretty cheap because I bought it in a bulk lot with about five other slabs. Another reason why it was so cheap is because this is pretty rough sawn. It's, uh, it hasn't been run through a planer or a sand or anything like that, so I'm going to have to give it a good sand before I can uh, use it for the coffee table. I'm not too sure what kind of timber this is. It could be red gum, iron bark, something like that. It's definitely Australian hardwood because it's very, very hard, and trust me, you don't want to throw this through a planer and probably blow up the planer. But um, I had to sand it quite a bit, which uh, took me almost the whole packet. Using my orbital sander, I started with 40 grit, which is very, very coarse. Um, as I told you just before, the timber is very, very hard, so I had to use like 40 grit just to get some material off the piece. After that, I went over with 120 just to smooth it out. Then I went quickly over it with 240 grit, ready for some clear. I cut off the edges using my circular saw, using a jig I made out of MDF, so I got a nice, straight, sharp line. I got a new blade on my circular saw and it cuts like butter, it is unreal. I definitely recommend if your blade is getting dull, buy a new one, it's definitely worth the investment. My circular saw didn't go all the way through so I had to finish the cut with a Japanese pull saw. Which is kind of fitting when you think about it because it is a shosugiban technique which is Japanese. I then rounded over the edges with my sander and gave the sides a quick sand. But before that, I'm going to get my butane torch and burn all the sides. It gives it nice contrast between the top nice red timber and then the sides being black, which I'm going to complement with some black legs. This technique is called Shosugiban. I thought it was Shosugiban in my other videos, but um, watching more and more videos, I think the general consensus is to call it Shosugiban. So when you're supposed to do the show sugiban technique, you're meant to burn it to like an almost charcoal, then brush away the excess charcoal, and then finish it how you want. I'm going to use a clear coat to finish it, just because I want to lock in that color, and I want to lock in also that charcoal dust which will occur over time and time again. I made a little mistake here and I actually sprayed the sides first without sanding the top down. So when I burnt the edges, there's obviously a little bit of, let's just say, overspray or over flame which burns the front side of the timber. So I have to sand that down first so I get a nice contrast in between. But that's no biggie, I just sprayed the sides, let that dry and then quickly went over the top with about 120 grit. I then sprayed the top with the clear coat making sure I overlap my sprays. I let that dry overnight and then the next day I went over with 240 grit sandpaper and I sanded lightly on the top just to get any bumps from the spray paint. Then I wiped that dry with a tack cloth to pick up any of the dust and then I sprayed over the top again with the clear coat for my final coat. I chose to buy some steel legs for this coffee table um, I'm still practicing welding. I'm not 100% confident to make legs yet, but um, I'm almost there. So these ones I just purchased online. I can't remember the website as I bought them a long time ago, but they definitely cost me under $50. These ones were easy to install because they had a base plate which had screw holes already pre-drilled. So all I had to do was screw down into the slab and I was all done. Overall, I'm very happy with this coffee table. It only cost me about $100 because I got the slab for about 50, the legs for definitely under 50, and it was just a bit of clear. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot, and I'm gonna be putting out more content like this, so make sure to hit that button, and also give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.